Welcome to the Common Sense Academy, friends, family, and common sensors. Today we're going to take a look at a video that has a little bit of everything. A window getting smashed in, a sovereign citizen asserting her sovereign rights, and even quoting from a, a little wonderful document I had never heard before called the Common Law Handbook. Yes, friends and family, the, comp, the, the sovereign citizen movement is alive and well. I am your host, Joe Pometto. Thank you for tuning in today. If you like my content, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. It's a free way to support the show. It lets YouTube know you're watching. It also lets me know you're watching and incentivizes me to make more videos. At the same time, there's a link below to my Patreon. Any don donation on Patreon would be appreciated, whether it be one, two, four, five dollars a month. Um, you may or may not know uh, that YouTube demonetizes a large amount of my videos due to the controversial nature of the content they must believe that it's offensive also some of my videos uh, get get sort of um, promoted more than other videos uh, YouTube as far as the sovereign citizen stuff is concerned I heard when I started doing this that it was on YouTube's list of sort of um, content to target and to not promote as much as or uh, as often as it did. I don't know if that's true so much, but they are demonetizing um, a lot of my content. So that's why I asked for a donation. Um, it really frees up time for me to make more videos like this. Before we dig into this great video, let's do what you really came here for uh, the same time sip. So grab your cup, your glass, your mug. Maybe you drink out of a giant mug like the Vikings would have in a beer hall. I need something good like that. Raise it in the air. Cheers with me. Let's do a same time sip. Hmm. I got a little bit of coffee in that sip. And let's enjoy this video. Sir, is there a threat? Is there a threat to public safety, sir? Ma'am, step out of your vehicle. Your license, please. Ma'am, I'm in lawful order to exit your vehicle. Are you? Can you please get your sheriff, the head sheriff? Please get the head sheriff. Get your, get your boss, please. Get your boss. Sir, I've done nothing wrong. I've done nothing wrong, sir. I'm recording you. I've done nothing wrong. Sir, get your boss. Sir, get the head sheriff, please. Sir, I've done nothing wrong. Is there a threat? Is there a threat to public safety? And and not having a license is, a license plate is not arrestable offense according to. It's not an arrestable offense, sir. Why did you pull me over? Do you have a threat to public safety that you need to address? Do you? Uh, excuse me. I want to speak to your supervisor. Please get your supervisor. Get your supervisor. No. Now. I I'm no longer speaking to you. Look. Ma'am, if not, Look you it. break your window. If you break my window, that's an illegal search and siege. That's illegal. Window. I'm giving you a lawful order to Look, execute. Ma'am, you're right now I'm placing you under arrest. I'm, am, I, am I under a custodial arrest or am I free to go? You're not free to am leave. I under a custodial arrest? I'm arresting you for, for what? Violence. Refusing my lawful order. I'm not I'm refusing, refusing anything. Your Look, you didn't ask me. You just told me to pull over, and there's no threat to public safety. Look, right now, look, let me show you. Up. Let me show you. I'm going to show you something. Right now, this is under notice of motion to federal court. This case is under notice of motion to federal court. Look, signed by a grand jury administrator and time stamped by the courts. Okay? I'm going to show you. It's time stamped by the courts. Right now, you are violating my pursuits to travel. Signed and dated. You see that? Now, sir, I've done nothing wrong, and it's not an arrestable offense to drive without a license plate. I want to see your boss, please. I'm trying to be reasonable here, and I'm, you five, you listen to that? And I'm not doing anything wrong. And I've asked if I could see your boss, please. I already told her she's under arrest. 
I, I cannot be under arrest because there's no injured party. Is there an injured party? Do you have an affidavit and a, an arrest warrant? Do you have an arrest warrant? He needs to come from away from there. Also, I have a fencing and posting on my body. I have a fencing and posting that says, do not touch my property, my body. All, sir, what lawful order states lawful order, that you can pull me over and illegally search me? Ma'am, I'm not trying to search you. Where is, yes, you are. No, you're I'm trying, trying you're I have a fifth, right I have a rights, I have rights. And I want to speak to your boss. That's fantastic. Once you get out I of the want vehicle, to speak to your boss. No, sir, right now, because if you do anything, you will be done the same way right here. You have a bond. You have license right and insurance. Now. There's already one policeman been fired for treating me this way. Get out of the vehicle. Sir, I want to speak to your boss. I'm recording you. That's fantastic. And I want to speak to your boss. That's fantastic. Get out of the vehicle. Oh, my God. Where's the head sheriff? Where is the head sheriff? Where is the head sheriff for, what is this county called? Alachua County Sheriff. Alachua County. I'm Where is your Rose. boss? ID 1644. Where is your boss? A lawful order. To a lawful to order to do what? To get out of the vehicle. I do not have to get out of private yeah, property, sir. Right sir, right where is your boss? You have the right to I am not trying to argue with you. Get me your boss, please. Get please get me your boss. Ma'am. Please get me your boss. You're under arrest. Sir, I'm violence. not under arrest. There's no arrest you warrant. Do you have an arrest You're warrant? Under arrest. Do you have a proper arrest warrant? Do you have an arrest warrant with a signed wedding signature from a judge that says there's an injured party that I've injured someone? Ma'am, I'm telling you. Do you, you have that? Go get your boss, you please. You have a vehicle. We're gonna I your window to get don't inside. touch my vehicle. If you do that, it's an illegal search and siege. Sir, I've done nothing wrong. Please get me your boss. Please. Get me your boss. Please get me your boss. I don't know how many times I have to ask for that. I, I feel threatened right now. I'm being threatened. I'm being coerced. I'm being I'm under duress right now. I'm being threatened that if I don't give to the whims of this sheriff, that I'm going to be harmed, that my vehicle's going to be harmed. I need to speak to your sheriff. I need to speak to your office, the, the, your superior. I need to speak to your superior, sir. Look, let me show you something. Let me just show you this. This is called the Common Law Handbook. I need to speak with your boss. Arizona tag on the trailer. I need to speak with your boss. You're you're doing something illegal right now. You have a duty. You have a duty. To uphold the Constitution, are you an oath? Are you an oath keeper or a a, a code enforcer? Which one are you? Are you an oath keeper or a, a code enforcer? Which one are you? Because you don't have a right to pull me over and arrest me. I've done nothing wrong. Look, where is your boss? Are you an oath keeper, Sheriff, Sir? Are you an oath keeper? Look, I do not want to argue with you. I've done nothing wrong. And here's your duty. Here's your duty. You the duty of the today? sheriff. You have a sheriff's so duty. You identify yourself? I, why do I have to identify myself? I've done nothing wrong. Sheriffs today, law enforcement, a sheriff always has the power to make arrests within his or her own county. Some states extend this authority to adjacent counties or to the entire state. Many sheriff's officers also perform routine patrol functions such as traffic control, accident investigations, and transportation of prisoners. Larger departments may perform criminal investigations and some usually large sheriff's office command and air patrol. As sheriff's law enforcement is due to become more extensive and complex, new career up court duties, sheriffs are responsible for maintaining safety and the security of the court. A sheriff's deputy may be required to attend court. Sir, where is your boss? You, you're bound by the Constitution and the oath that you kept. You have no immunity from liability when you are violating your constitutional, my constitutional rights. Don't break my window. Get out of the car. That's it. Get out of the car. Don't. Get out of the car. Don't. Ma'am, get out of the car. Why would you do such a thing? I feel threatened. He's violating my rights. He's violating. What is your name? What is your name? 
Get out of here. What is your name? Get out no. Of no, you broke my window. No. Get out of no. No. Get You're ripping me out of my vehicle. You're under arrest. Stop. I did nothing wrong. Stop. Boy, this one had all the good stuff. I bet you didn't know that driving without a license plate isn't an arrestable offense. Well, ma'am, in case you didn't know, driving without a license plate is certainly illegal. And when the police pull you over, ask you questions about it, ask you for further information and you refuse, which I don't know that she did, but I'm assuming that she did, um, that certainly is arrestable. Uh, you know, I thought this video was funny because it, it comes in a little bit in the middle and I'm thinking to myself, well, what do you pull, you, pull her over for? Is this a speeding? And did she run a stop sign? And all of a sudden she pulled, she lifts up this piece of paper and she starts saying, um, she starts saying, this is an, uh, driving without a license plate is not an arrestable offense. So what immediately goes to my mind and probably many of yours is, did she have a magic license plate? Did she just have no valid license plate? Or did she have one of the great magic license plates that we get to look at and that we laugh at on a regular basis? I just don't know. Uh, she kept asking him over and over if she was free to go and he kept telling her over and over again that she is not free to go. Uh, he, he even t he told her multiple times, I'm going to break your window. I'm going to break your window. I'm going, well, ma'am, what do you think's going to happen when you, when he tells you he's going to break your window? Um, am I, she asked him, is he, un is she under custodial arrest? He said, yes, you're under custodial arrest. He said, yes, you are not free to leave. You are not free to leave. I want to see your boss. I want to see your boss. I think she got to see his boss, uh, you know, the guy who broke out the back window. Um, uh, this is one I'd never heard before. She said that there was no fencing or posting on her body. Uh, and I just, I wonder if she actually keeps labels. Maybe it's under the, the skin. Maybe what we're going to see is some magic sovereign citizen underwear could be coming soon. She kept saying she has rights. She certainly does. She just does not know them or does not know what those rights are. And whatever rights she thinks she has, it sure as heck doesn't come from the common law handbook that she pulled out. Oh my God. I mean, this is just sad. It's just sad, friends. It's just sad. Um, this video was, was uploaded on December 27th, so it appears to be fairly recent. So the sovereign citizens, they're out there, they're selling, they're scheming, and people are buying. This woman certainly bought in. Um, at one point she said, what is your name? And, and this is as they were bashing her back window out. She says, what is your name? And he says, get out of the car. <laughs> so... I have that officer going forward. His name is get out of the car. Okay. And he should get a nice t-shirt that says get out of the car <laughs> because that just made me laugh. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it goes to everything we're saying. Sovereign citizens are still out there. They're selling this stuff. This woman appears to have, I think she may have posted this video herself. Um, I hope the sovereign citizens aren't copying the auditors just to get attention. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I'm Joe Pometto, your host. If you like my content, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Patreon below. All donations are appreciated. Helps me run this show. I don't make much money off YouTube's uh, advertising. Um, and uh, But remember, this content will always remain free. Thank you very much for tuning in.